What's going on guys, it's King Touch Pro with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create a Twitch slash YouTube overlay in Photoshop. This is for gamers who want to add their social links on top of their gameplay footage when live streaming. This is the overlay we will be creating today. This is just the thumbnail of course, but behind that is the actual overlay. This overlay will make your gameplay footage stand out from the rest of other live streamers. Before we begin, I want to go ahead and give a huge thanks over at Graphic Stock for making this video possible. If you have never heard of Graphic Stock, Graphic Stock is an affordable subscription based stock website with unlimited access to vectors, icons, and graphics. Graphic Stock is a great value with their unlimited download approach to stock graphics. Everything is 100% royalty free. Keep what you download and maintain usage rights forever. Download up to 140 graphics from our library during the trial. You guys can start your 7 day free trial today. The link for Graphic Stock will be in the description. For you to check out. Let's not waste any more time and get started with the tutorial. First, import a screenshot of some gameplay footage. I have used this Grand Theft Auto 5 screenshot so I could use it as a reference. Once you have done that, we will have to unlock the background layer. A new window will pop up. Go ahead and give the layer a name. Now that we have unlocked the background layer, we will add some guides to align everything. Press Command or Control plus R to bring up the rulers. Click and drag from the left side to bring a guide. Move it toward the middle of the document. This is to make our top bar. Select the polygonal lasso tool from the tools palette and click somewhere down to the top left of the document to create our first point. Then hold shift to keep the line straight and click again toward the middle of the document and add another point. Click again at an angle downward, hold shift once again and click once it snaps to the guide. Make another point outside of the document to finally close the path. Make a new layer with the selection active and hold alt or option and delete to fill the active layer with the foreground color. We now have the top bar completed and we will add the bottom bar next. To create the bottom bar, we will have to use the rectangular marquee tool. Select the rectangular marquee tool, then click and drag to make a box. Fill it with the foreground color by holding alt or option and delete. Great, so now we have both bars created, now it's time to add some effects. Double click on the first layer we made to bring up the layer style window. We'll begin by adding a stroke. Make the stroke 3 pixels and keep everything the same except the color. For the color, I'm going to be using a custom hex code. The hex code is FF3D3D, it's a soft but dark red. Next, let's add a pattern overlay so it doesn't look plain and boring. Set the blend mode to overlay and the opacity to 75%. Click on the square to bring up the patterns. I have imported my own custom pattern, so if you guys want this pattern, I will add it to the description so you guys can download it. If you would like a tutorial on how to install patterns, then please leave a like. Select this pattern. Finally, we'll add a drop shadow. Keep everything the same, but we'll change the distance, spread, and size. Set the distance to 5 pixels, the spread to 0 and the size to 5. Now that we have added some effects to our bar, we will have to do the same to the bottom bar. But to save time, you can easily copy the layer style we have applied to the top bar by right clicking on the top bar layer and click on copy layer style. Then click on the bottom bar layer, right click and click paste layer style. You now have the same effects as the top bar, except the shadow we have applied to the top bar is angled at a 90 degree downwards, which means we can't see the shadow. So let's double click on the bottom bar layer, then head over to drop shadow and change the angle to negative 90 degrees. Now we can see the shadow above the bar. Cool, we've now finished the bars. So now we have to add the social icons as well as the social links. I have opened up the rated social icons by rated designs. So so be sure to give him some credit for putting all these social icons together. His link will be in the description along with the download. Drag and drop any social icons you would like. I have copied the Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter icons. Now that you have them onto the document, resize them to make them smaller. To do that, press Command or Control T and hold Shift, then click and drag one of the corners to make them smaller while keeping the proportions the same. Do the same for all of them. Move the icons to the top of the page and spread them out evenly. You could also choose what order you would like to have them in. Let's add the social links. The font I will be using is called Franchise. I will add the link in the description so you guys can download it. Type in your links for each social website. Make the text small so it can fit inside of the top banner. Then just group each of the social icons along with the text. Rename each layer to stay organized so you know which to change later on. Lastly, we'll add the middle text or the main text. Type in your gamer tag or your YouTube channel. I have typed in King Tuts Pro as an example. So double click on the text 
layer we just created and add a drop shadow. Keep everything the same, but change the distance to 3 pixels, the opacity to 75%, and the angle to 90. Then make sure it's centered in the middle. The last and final thing for this is to add a box for the webcam. It's very simple. Create a new layer and name it webcam. Select the rectangular marquee tool, then click and drag to make a box. Make it fairly big. Then all we have to do is copy the layer style we have applied earlier to the top bar. So right click on the top bar layer and select copy layer style. Once you've done that, head back to the box layer, right click and click paste layer style to paste the same effects. Now you could add some text to the bottom bar so it's not empty and pointless. I'll just type subscribe with the same font. This is the final result we have achieved to make this overlay. You could always add or change anything if you would like. Just let your creative side take over to make it better. If you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more of these videos, please feel free to leave a like or a comment and subscribe if you wish. That's it for this tutorial. Until then, peace out and take care.